I believe we've done a few of these over the years, but this is new. We're at the Gunnersbury Park Sports Hub. This is uh, fairly newly opened. What do you make of it? Well, it's fantastic. It's been quite a long time in coming, but it's well worth the wait, really. So if you go around the park, you've got the heritage side, and then now this is going to be an amazing sports hub. So two full-size Astros, a fantastic indoor area. We're putting an office in here with our staff, um, and we're looking at the wider park as well and, and what we can do. So we're going to put a whole programme of... Uh, activities for all ages. People like me would have seen how the house grows from like a cubby hole at Griffin Park, his own, his own building, and you'll have a space at the new stadium site. But what will this do for, for the trust outreach work? Well, if you think about this as a campus you know, approach, so we're not very far away from the new stadium. And if you then can think about the facilities and the opportunities during the match days, but then linking up with education and activity, health programmes, all ages, so there's a fantastic museum. activities as well. Um, it really is a campus that we can be really creative with. So we're here today with uh, the Football Development Centre going on behind us. Explain a little bit about what that is. Yeah, so what it does really is it gives players uh, the opportunity to be coached in a different peer group to what they might be in school or in their clubs. Uh, we've got hundreds of boys and girls as part of the programme uh, and they play matches as well uh, during the school holidays. So uh, it's working out really well. We've got multiple centres, so girls and boys. Uh, and this, this is one that's building up. Uh, and, uh, we've got great ambitions for it. So this is a, a chance for, the, for these young kids to actually play for Brentford in a way? Completely, yeah. Yeah, so, and, and really I think what we're looking at doing is giving young people a really good football education, something they really enjoy, uh, so there's no pressure there, but it does challenge them, and I think in clubs and schools you'll get a different experience, you know, you get um, really good coaches and, and friends playing together, and then you sometimes take, take you know, young people out of their comfort zone and then look at how you can just really, you know, sort of make the most of uh, their ability and develop them and keep them enjoying the game. We always knew that 2020 would be a, a big year for, for Brentford FC and, and the Trust. Just sort of try and explain what this 12-month period is going to be like for you guys. Well, I've got no hair to go uh, grey <laughs> now, but um, I mean, I think it's fantastic, um, you know, for the club and Trust, really, like the football that's being played on the pitch, the stadium, moving in here, eventually moving to the, the new facilities adjacent to the stadium really is the culmination of, of a lot of years planning and a massive effort by you know so many people um, and I think everybody deserves that and are enjoying the journey really so um, you know I think the club is it's all about out thinking isn't it and really being creative same, same here um, we'll be creative on and off the pitch and be part and part and central of our community we're here on the EFL day of action of course as, as I mentioned we've done a, a few of these over the years but what does a day like this do for, for people like yourself who are leading um, CSTs around the country well, I think it's more about the profile that it gives the different activities because I think sometimes it's very easy to say you know it's pigeonholed as football and really football and the activity is the catalyst that promotes so many uh, different outcomes and you can't get away from the fact that you know, it's, it's our national game you know, there's, a, there's a great deal of love for it and, and passion about it and if that then acts as the catalyst to then bring people together to create new programmes, to get people involved um, and create that inclusiveness, that's what we're all about. You obviously have been leading the, the sports trust since Brentford have been up and, up and down the divisions yeah. from, from the second tier back in the early 90s and then right right down the bottom. Has yeah. the relationship between the club and trust changed as Brentford have got closer and closer to the Premier League? It's always been people based so you know that's why I've stayed so long because you, we've met so many you know, great people going right back to people like Steve Perryman, Keith Loring, you know, he's CEO there, uh, and right through to now and that, that whole uh, appro innovative approach and the, the real creative and, and sort of forward thinking people. Um, so I think it's always been about collaboration. Um, I'm in year three! Um, and it's always been about people. But what we're finding now is there's just that massive upswell of interest um, there's, there's such a you know great experience to come and watch the team and experience that and actually then to introduce 
people to that to that experience of new supporters. And then equally, we've seen community activities expand and grow and the whole breadth of what you can do and the imagination grow. So if you look at the partners we collaborate with now uh, and the programmes that, we, that we've got from young carers, children on the edge of care, uh, right through to, you know, the, your sort of football activity programmes that you see here, it just means that there's so much of a broader uh, canvas to work with. Uh, and finally, I know that you watch a lot of a lot of Brentford. So, yeah. in terms of this season as a as a, a fan or a, or yeah, a watcher, yeah. how exciting has it been? Well, it's fantastic. You know? I mean, every time you go, it's look at look at Saturday. You know, sort of you're, you're playing a good team. You see ability on the pitch. The, the football we're playing. I'm, I'm a real football purist. You know, so people that play with me might not say that, but the uh, you know, the, just watching the the. Um, the way we play and, and the approach and uh, the results we're getting and the excitement is uh, fantastic and you know that, that's what you want isn't it when you go and, go and watch a game you, you want to see you know something that, that really excites you and interests you but football being played in the right way and we'll always do that and, you know and, and that's what's so exciting. Yeah.